guys so in uh, today's video we will check how to create a custom splash screen in iPhone application so let's start with uh, creating a sample project for that go to Xcode create an sample application So the sample application is already ready for us. So here in properties, as we can see, if, uh, in app icons and launch screen images, we can see launch screen file is already selected here, and uh, the storyboard we can find it from here. So if you can see right now, there is no nothing in that. It's just a white screen. So let's try and add some of the images a label and create a custom splash for that. So how we can do that? First of all, we have to add some sort of a logo or some image so we can use here. So we'll go to the assets folder and we'll create one asset, image asset. Now we do have one sample image here, logo, which we will use. And we need in a big size and a single size only so let's drag it so now we do have a logo here now we will use it into this loss uh, uh, splash screen launch screen dot storyboard so for using that logo simply we'll have to uh, use the image view control so let's drag to the center and simply pass that uh, logo here so as we can see uh, logo is coming now aspect ratio is proper we need to uh, set up the frame and positioning proper into the center so logo is already set now Let's change the background color for the application splash screen. So let's take a label color for now. Background color name pattern is ready. Now, last thing we need to add is uh, any label that will become as a bottom title. So we have to use a label for that. Simply pass on the text, whatever we need to display there. So we have passed the label uh, text and also we are changing the text color here. Some other properties like font, alignment, everything is set up now. Background color to clear. Now set the uh, set up the frame for that. We need to make sure it should be in the bottom only. So we'll select the constraints as, uh, accordingly and we will remove the uh, top bar here. So also we need to make sure it should be full width. So we'll set up the zero position, X position. So label is ready now. It's already set up in splash screen. So our splash screen is already now ready to check. So we will do simply try and test on any simulator. Let's see how it looks. As you can see, it's loading the sim uh, sample splash into the simulator. And after that it's going to the home page so this is how we can create a sample uh, splash screen and uh, how we can customize it as per our needs as per the application needs we can customize that we can put up the brand logo label company name or anything we can put into the splash screen and 
if you can see whenever you are launching the application it comes for few seconds only uh, let's take it again so if any application is created for any brand uh, any big brand they will obviously want a user to see their brands for a few seconds before it going to the home page for the features so how we can do that how we can control that so simply what we can do is in did finish launching with options method we can control the sleep time so here you can pass the seconds let's say we have given the five seconds of sleep time uh, for launching the application so what it will do is it will hold the splash screen for the five seconds and then it will let go to the first page of the application so let's see how it works so as we can see it's holding the splash screen for the five seconds and then it will allow see so this is how this is how we can create a custom application uh, splash and uh, we can handle the splash anytime into the application we can change the theme of the splash screen anytime it will be changeable it will be uh, redesignable also so anytime we can change it according to the theme so that's all for this video thank you guys